The first comment on my last video came from John Smith and he said first and I jokingly replied with trade me in game for 50 mil to which he actually did that. He added me and he PM'd me where is his 50 mil. Now if I was in John's shoes I'd also give it a shot but here's the thing, not every RuneScape YouTuber is rich. I'm pretty sure my bank is about 20 mil right now because I keep making stupid accounts and wasting my money on bonding them up but I felt bad because I just debated this guy so I had a bond laying around since my account was running out of membership and I wanted to give it to him but he graciously declined so thank John for this next sentence. I'll be giving away this bond to one of you guys. All you have to do is leave your RuneScape name down in the comment section below and also please subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video. Anyways I've been talking about making this video for a week now and some of you guys have actually been asking where this video is if I forgot about it but here it is after all. Today we're going to be testing out the new spirit flakes and the new fish barrel. As new as they are they pretty much came out last week with the release of Temporos. And from about 150 kills, I got about 530 rewards, which got me a little over 7,000 spirit flakes. And I also got the fish barrel within like the first 100, maybe 150 rewards. If you want to know the exact number, I did upload two videos where I showcased the loot from 250 rewards before the buff and after the buff. Anyways, the spirit flakes have a 50% chance of catching an extra fish. That fish will not get you any experience, but that means that you're going to be catching more fish per hour. Therefore, for an Iron Man, that means more food, and for a main account, that means more money per hour from fishing. As for the fish barrel, it pretty much stores 28 fish of any kind. It doesn't have to be the same kind, and you can empty the barrel while you have the bank interface open. So I decided to do a similar thing that I did with the Celestial Ring video, where on one hand I'm going to do an hour without the flakes in the barrel, and then I'm going to do an hour with the flakes and the barrel, and we're going to compare the XP rates, the amount of fish that I caught, and the amount of flakes that I used. So let's get started. So probably the most anticipated method is catching sharks. And I did this in the fishing guild which gives an invisible boost of 6 levels to fishing. Don't quote me on that. For the gear I used full anglers and a dragon harpoon and without the flakes in the barrel I got just over 20k XP and 179 sharks which came out to be 121k GP. But now how do these numbers look with the flakes and with the barrel? So on paper you should be getting the same amount of XP as the flakes don't give any XP. In fact you should get more XP since you cut down the time that you spend on banking by having the fish barrel in your inventory. But here's the funny thing, I actually got 17.6k XP from doing it with the flakes in the barrel. Which I have no idea how that happened, but I got 240 sharks, which came out to be 167k GP, and I used 155 spirit flakes in that one hour. Similar to the celestial ring, the flakes deplete even when the effect doesn't go off. So if you end up catching only one fish, you're still going to use one spirit flake. Next method I did was dark crabs in the wilderness resource area. So I do have the wilderness elite diary complete, which I think boosts the amount of dark crabs that you fish by 10%. I did not take the angler's outfit because I was not going to risk losing it. And without the flakes in the barrel, I got 43.3k XP, 336 dark crabs, which came out to be 320k GP and also used 336 dark fishing bait and then you can note these dark crabs with an NPC standing nearby and each dark crab costs 50 GP to note but it only costs so little because I do have the elite diary completed so in total it took me 17k to note 336 dark crabs. Also I did not use the fish barrel here because it's untradeable therefore you just lose it if you die. And I wasn't going to risk it, similar to the angler's outfit. Now with the flakes, I got 42k XP, 499 dark crabs, which came out to be 476k GP. And then I also used 322 spirit flakes, which means I also used the same amount of dark fishing bait. And it took me 25k to note them. Anyways, the next method that I wanted to show you guys is anglerfish. Now I fished them in the Piscatoris fishing area on Zaya, I used the full angler's outfit and without the spirit bait I got 16.5k XP, 134 anglerfish which came out to be 158k GP and I also used 134 red worms which come out to cost 13k. So with the flakes I got 17.5k XP, I got 218 anglerfish 
which came out to be 257 kgp. I used 142 worms, which came out to 13.6 kgp. And I used 139 spirit flakes, which I have no idea because the number of flakes and worms should be the same. But now that I'm looking at it, I might have made a miscalculation of 3 spirit flakes or 3 worms, which isn't that big of a deal because you still get the idea. Anyways, the next method that I looked at was going to be monkfish. I used the full angler's outfit, but I did not use the dragon harpoon for the 3 fishing level boost. Without the flakes in the barrel, I got 40k XP and 324 monkfish which came out to be 82k and with the flakes in the barrel I got 42k XP and 508 monkfish which came out to be 129k. I also ended up using 339 flakes and now that I'm looking at this isn't it crazy how little money you get from fishing monkfish. I remember back in 2008 everyone was fishing these and we thought that we were making so much money and I mean we probably were compared to this. Anyways the last method that I did was infernal eels. To do this I had the full anglers outfit for the 2.5% fishing xp boost, I had ice gloves which you need to cool off the infernal eels, I had the fire cape to access them, I didn't use the barrels since you break them with a hammer to get lava scale shards and onyx bolt tips as well as tackle. So I only ended up using the flakes and without the flakes I got 36k xp, 23 onyx bolt tips, 122 lava scale shards which came out to be 237k gp and also got 5.3k tackle, whereas with the flakes, I got 35.4k XP, 26 onyx bolt tips, and 165 lava skill shards, which came out to be 277k GP, and also got 7.8k tackle. So those are all the fishing methods that I ended up doing. If you have any more that you would like to see, leave them down in the comments below. I can totally do a part 2 to this video, and also leave your runescape name in the comments. I'll be picking a random winner of the bond by the end of the week. Make sure to say thanks to John Smith and I'll be also updating you guys on the Ultimate Iron Man. I know some of you are itching for a new episode, but it's not going to be a traditional progress video. It's going to be an update video letting you guys know where I'm at with the account and how uploading progress videos is going to look like moving forward in the coming months. Also there was no update today unfortunately. so. It was kind of weird because in the last two weeks we got the release of Shooting Stars and the new Fishing Skilling Boss Temporos which were two pretty major updates but for those of you who are wondering what's ahead for the next couple of months Jagex is going to be rebalancing some items in terms of armor and weaponry. I do want to make a loot from 1000 Temporos video but I'm pretty sure that Mr. No Sleep is already working on that and he'll get his video out way before I'm going to because I've been working on these videos for the past couple of weeks. But anyways, I hope you guys still enjoyed this video, and with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day.